Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking all about vintage drugstore face creams that you can still buy today. And I thought it would be fun to choose affordable face creams that aren't $300 because I know the Erno Lazlo is really expensive and I thought it'd be kind of neat to do some research and discover more vintage drugstore brands that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is where I talk about all things vintage fashion and beauty. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below if you like what you see. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Dahlia's in the Attic. I started a new Instagram for my YouTube channel. I also link that below and I love getting messages from me. So don't be shy and don't be afraid to send me a message if you have any questions. All right, let's jump right in and talk all about vintage drugstore face creams that you can still buy today. A lot of fun doing this research. There were a few surprises of brands that I didn't know were actually that old and then some other brands that I knew were definitely on my list of ones that came up right away. So let's just get started and the first brand I'm going to talk about is Neutrogena. I remember Neutrogena when I was younger in high school. I used to use a face wash the, and that kind of orangey bar of soap for acne. Um, but I actually didn't know how old it was. So Neutrogena was founded in 1930 by Emanuel Stolaroff and it was originally a cosmetic company named Natone. In 1930, he started a small company called Natone. Soon it grew into a larger business where he started expanding into retail markets. In 1962, the company's name was officially changed to Neutrogena Corporation. So I found this moisturizing cream at my local drugstore. It's very affordable. I think it was only like $15. Um, this is a night cream. So this is a nice fast absorbing kind of classic night cream. It has vitamin D and glycerin in it. It keeps the skin really moist overnight. and keeps it replenished. Um, I quite like it. It doesn't have a strong scent or anything but it's very good if you have sensitive skin. So I thought this was a really good moisturizing cream and it's also very affordable. And it was also just interesting learning all about Neutrogena and how old it was. So this is the first cream on my list. Another interesting brand is Queen Helen. So I discovered this brand when I was doing research. I have tried their mint jewel face mask. And then I discovered this cocoa butter face and body cream. This one is really good for extremely dry skin. It has smells really good as like a rich cocoa butter scent to it and you can see the color it looks very decadent and rich. Um, so Queen Helen is from 1930 so again it's a very old brand. This one can be used on both your face and body if you have really dry skin. So this is a really rich moisturizing cream that's non-greasy and has cocoa butter and lanolin to quench and relieve moisture starved skin and protects from dryness and also helps protect from the appearance of wrinkles. So this is Queen Helen and this one has been around since 1930. A brand that is very well known is Olay. It used to be called Oil of Olay and it actually originated in South Africa and it started in 1952. Oil of Olay is a spin on the word lanolin which is the key ingredient in their products. And it was very unique in the early days. It was well known for the pink fluid. And this is the original beauty fluid, which has been around since 1952. This was their kind of debut product. And it used to be, as you can see in the older packaging, in this really beautiful glass bottle. And now they got rid of the oil of Olay, and now it's just called Olay. So they kind of rebranded the name. But it was really interesting to see the actual pink glass bottle versus the plastic bottle that they have nowadays. The original pink beauty fluid from 1952 was created by South African chemist Graham Wolf. Um, and it was inspired by his wife and other women who wanted deep hydration without like heavy creams during the day. So this is a great moisturizer which you can wear under your makeup and it just works really well and I love the kind of vintage smell to it. I love the pink color. I don't know, it's just so classic. I, it really works well even almost as a primer under your makeup. And then they also have the Active Hydrating Original Cream. This one is from 1953 so this is again, this is almost like a thicker version of the Beauty Fluid. I quite like it because I love the pink color. 
and it has a really soft vintage scent to it and it, it does work really well it's a little bit heavier i would say than the beauty fluid but again it's a it's a really nice cream and just works really well under your makeup and it can be used at night as well and again it's really affordable so this one is from 1953 a classic face cream this is probably one of the older ones and this is ponds um, which is one of the oldest face creams and beauty products. Pond started in 1846 and was created by a pharmacist Theron T. Pond in New York and he extracted a healing tea from witch hazel which he discovered could heal small cuts and other scratches. The product was named the Golden Treasure and after he died it was known as Pond's Extract. And then in 1914, the company was incorporated under the name Pond's Extract Company. By the 20th century, the company's main emphasis was selling cosmetic products. The Pond's Vanishing Cream and the Pond's Cold Cream were created marketing at the entrance into women's facial care industry. So once they saw that the beauty industry was kind of gaining strength, they wanted to target that. And when they were selling them together, they sold a lot better. Pond's dry skin cream is a face moisturizer and it really it works well under makeup application it's meant to prep skin and i'm pretty sure because i have an old vintage pond set and this one is from the 1930s and it comes with a few products including the face powder um cream lotion cleansing cream and the vanishing cream and i think that the pond's dry skin cream which i have here is basically the original vanishing cream. They just stopped calling it the vanishing cream and they turned it into the dry skin, skin cream because in the instructions online and on the websites, it is said to, like the instructions are to wear underneath your makeup as a primer to help smooth things out. And that is basically what a vanishing cream is. It's meant to wear under your makeup. And then the cold cream is meant to cleanse at the end of the day. So they kind of go hand in hand. And honestly, I just love the smell of Pond's I don't know what it is, it just kind of gives me comfort. It's such a vintage smell. I don't know, I, I wonder if they've always just had this smell for years and years. I just love it, it's so affordable too, and I love the classic shape. Pond's is definitely one of my favorites, mainly because of the smell, and I just think it works so well on your skin. So that is Pond's cream, and that one is from 1846. Another really old face cream, I was surprised to how old this one is. This is a Jergens all-purpose face cream. It kind of is a combination of a cleansing cream as well as a face cream. So you can use it hand in hand if you want to remove makeup at the end of the day. And you can also use it as a moisturizer. And Elizabeth Taylor apparently uses cream as well. And I love looking at the old photos of this cream way back in the day. And they still had the three ladies on the front, which is interesting how they still have it today. So, and it's always the same colors too with the white bottle. So, Jergens Lotion was founded by Andrew Jergens in Cincinnati, Ohio, and this was in 1882. And the company was known as the Jergens Soap Company. And the all-purpose uh, face cream has been around, I believe, since the 1950s. And it's kind of just, they haven't really changed the formula because it's been so popular and people keep coming back for it. And I think it's under $5, so it's a super affordable face cream. It's one of my favorites. It works wonders at removing makeup. It's on par with Pond's. I also just love the pink color too. I think it's really pretty and definitely has that vintage kind of 1950s smell as well. The last on the list, I know Avon isn't a drugstore cosmetic, but I think it falls in line with the same price points as an affordable face cream. So one of Avon's first face creams is the Avon Rich Moisture Face Cream. And you can't get it in the United States anymore on Avon, but you can still get it in Canada, but there are websites on Amazon where you can still buy this face cream. So Avon is definitely a really old company. I think it's been around for over 130 years. It started in 1886, where David H. McConnell started to sell books door to door, and then he had perfume on the side to go with the books. So this is a classic, Avon product. It's been around for ages. I have old catalogs from the 40s with the Avon Rich Moisture Cream and it's great for dry skin. I think it's five dollars 
and I love looking at the old photos and I have some vintage Avon moisture cream this one is from the 1950s it has similar shapes as you can see throughout the years obviously I love the vintage packaging and here's another one I believe this one's probably from the 70s and it's an Avon rich moisture vanity jar this one is still sealed but it's the same color as the new one so you can see that it is the same color curious to smell it but I don't want to open up the seal but I do love the jar I think it's really pretty I wish Avon would kind of do something like this again also I have also thought about removing this lotion and cleaning out the jar and then taking this one and putting it inside just debating because I don't want to break the seal I know it probably won't ruin the value of the products I'm probably not gonna try to sell it or anything in the future so if you want me to do that maybe that'd be a fun video where I take clean out my vintage cosmetics and put the new ones in. Let me know if you're interested in something like that and that can be arranged for a future video. So that is it for my vintage drugstore face creams that you can still buy today. Let me know if you have tried any of these. I'd be really curious to know your thoughts. Also, if you have any other ideas similar to this that you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.